there someone near the house? Is there such a name as house? House? Helium. Helium house. Yes, I think that probably, I just heard house. I, I refer to a church as house. Your name is house? Yes. Do you have any white boots? With yes. white fuzz around the top? Yes. I see them that you'd be wearing them in the wintertime. Yes. With a green coat? Yes. This will save you by pinning these in both boots and on your green coat. This will save you a terrible fall that would have broken both of your hips. Thank you, Jesus. And right now, Spirit. Spirit yes, of God. Sir. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see an upright piano in your home. Yes. I want you to touch this over the sheet music also. You understand this? Yes. To rub the sheet music. There's a white vase with some blue like flowers in it. A white vase that keeps blue like flowers in it. Yes. And a red bow on it. Yes. Replace the red bow with one of these. I don't know you, is that correct? You've told no one, there's no, all the rest, you've told no one here anything, is that correct? Yes. I've got reason what I'm doing. Do you have a son in Oakland? Yes. Send one to him. He has an apartment house. That's his name. On 18th Street? Yes. Mm. You're 78 years young, huh? <laughs> yes. Your husband passed in 1963? Yes. When you cough, you have pain in your back? Yes. Something seems like it wants to come out? Yes. Well, you get right to the bathroom, we're going to get rid of a cancer in your body too. It's going to take care of it. And all these are for your loved ones. And that pain's gonna go. That pain's gonna go. You believe it? Yes. You believe it? Yes, sir. It's so good, so good. It'll be done right now, right now, right now. Give to the world the very best that you have. I am the best will come back to you. This is... Another cancer, gone. Pain gone now? Pain's all gone now. Pain gone. There's a cancer. Another one gone. Another praising sister. Many who's... in the church age believe in the spiritualization of God. And as you believe in the spirit of God and keep him in the spirit, you may be healed mentally and spiritually. When you see God in the material realm, then you get healed in your physical realm. Then the deliverance comes in the physical body. Freedom comes in the natural. We get freedom from poverty, from want and disease. If you apply it to the spirit of God, your spirit will be healed. And if you apply it to the mind of God, your mind can be healed. But if you apply it to the body of God, then your body will be healed. It's wonderful. I don't think I have to say more about that. Those that recognize the body of God shall re-duplicate that process in them. If you see the temple of the Holy Ghost, then you will be able to reproduce God in you, just as I am. You that are not familiar with this ministry, we endeavor very, very hard to see that nothing is spoken that would in any way cause embarrassment to you. And even if there was something spoken personally, it will unfold deliverance that will save your life, heal you of every known disease. And I think that that is something that you can't find any place. But if it is something very private, we will speak it to one of the registered nurses that work without compensation or one of the social workers and they will speak to you personally. Now as our hands are clasped, let us think upon the positive. Is there someone by the name of Catherine, something like Lissom? Sounds something like that in my mind. In Los Angeles. You live someplace on 35th Street somewhere. Sure do. I see a child, Terry. Who is this child? That's um, my husband's nephew. George. That's my husband. You've spoken to no one here, have you? I sure haven't. I'm stopping a paralytic stroke in your husband. Your husband's blood pressure would cause him to have a stroke this Wednesday, but not now. Oh, thank you, dear. But I'm not through. I'm not through. There's someone else by the name of Jordan. Yes, Lord. This will also save their life. That's dear. They have red, red kind of condition in their eyes. There's a breaking in their corpuscles. It will cause blindness. 
just place a cloth on them and it'll take care of it. Uh, now you have trouble in your chest. I sure do. You spit up blood. Sure do. Can't get your breath. Sure can. Well, I'm going to take care of it. At last, you're going to spit up. We're going to get rid of the problem. You can't hardly walk, can't hardly get around. I sure okay. Chishama, kiyana, sitira, manadiya. Oh, thank you. Your mother's suffering. She's suffering in pain in her back, even yes. now. Seventy-some years old. Oh, yes, she is. This cloth sent across the many miles will relieve her of her pain. Oh, thank you, Jim. Now, my child. One of the nurses or a couple of them will assist you. Do you have cancer that is blocking you? Now this bronical problem has developed into cancer and it's going to be eliminated now and you're going to be able to move. Your heart is bad also, oh, you. crippled in your back, but we're going to see the spirit move you as easy as it would be for a breeze to move a feather. <laughs> Hands clasped. Let the spirit move. Let the spirit move. Sister, you get, I think you're close enough to me. Now, if you will, just begin to try to regurgitate. That is to vomit. Get this up. You've got artificial knees. And you're walking on artificial knees, but it's a wonder, isn't it? It's a miracle what can be done. Spirit, let it go, let it go. Just come on up. Come on up. It is a privilege that God is here to deal in your affairs. And I am moving, I'm condescending in your body now and loosing. I'm loosening those, those roots. Now they're coming, now they're, they're free. They're free, just spit them on up. Spit them on up. The simplest thing is not impossible, but the impossible thing is just simple for God. Just let the spirit, just let it move on out. There it is, there it is, there it is. There's the groove. There's the groove all over the floor. All over the floor and all over the cloth. Spit it all up. Never has filled me yet. Never. It's a terrible, these, they smelled horribly and they taste horribly as they loose. Often, nearly always they do. Now child, now child, even though you've got artificial knees, even though you've been put plates, you're gonna be able to move, move fast now. You're gonna be able to move fast and not feel any shortage. Not feel any shortage now. It's wonderful. See, I go, I go, I go. Go with it, go with it, go with it, go with it. She was not able to get around. She's walking on artificial knees. She's walking on artificial knees. God Almighty. Completely. And you've got artificial plates, artificial knees. You couldn't walk at all. Look at her walking now. Not short of breath anymore, are you, darling? Tension all gone. That's wonderful. Pain all gone. Cancer all gone. Spirit, spirit. So good. Which is Rachel. Just hands clasped. Rachel? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Sutton uh, means something to you. You're from Phoenix. Yes, that's right. You've been told that you have a tumor on your brain. Yes, my God. God. Hands clasped. The brain, it's, what has it done? Cause a deterioration in your muscles? Oh, yes, yes. Your legs and you can't walk. Oh, so it's true. progressively getting worse. Yes. Just as I know that there's a white linen tablecloth in your third drawer of your chest in Phoenix, and I've never met you in my life, as far as I know. I've never met you, have I? Correct. All right. Take your hands and clasp and believe. 
leave. There's a massive clock that has to be broken, it has to be broken loose. In a matter of a few minutes, you've got a bad headache. Yes, I do. And you can't walk. That's right. Well, let's start with the headache. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Spirit. Spirit of God. Thank you. Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of God. <gasps> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Sister, I say that I can dissolve that cancer. I say that you can walk. The pain's gone now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, then stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Get on up. Get on up. Get on, quickly. She's struggling now to rise. Get up. Get up. Don't, don't touch her, brother. Don't touch her. She's struggling to rise. Now, now, now. Up, up. 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 She's coming up. Up out of the wheelchair. On up, sister. I said that I took the pain, so I took the tumor that's destroyed the brain. I took that that's caused the stroke. I took that. I took the paralysis. Now stand up. It's done, if you believe. She's coming up. She's up. Oh. She's up. up. She's now on her feet. Up. She's standing erect. She's up. standing completely erect. Up. Turn She's up. completely erect. Up. Let her look up, sister. Keep your eyes focused on me. Keep your eyes focused on me. Look, look. Get on now. 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 Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. She's coming down Keep the aisle moving. now. Slowly. Keep on moving. In faith, she's stepping forward. She's coming forward, slowly. Come on, I got two things. Got a sister about to have a heart attack. Got the quickly, quickly. You got to do a quick work, sister. Got to do a quick work. Come on, come on. Oh, come there on. she goes. Come on. She come is on. now moving quickly. Come on. Now. Now go on! Go on! She's now running on her own! She is now running Straight on up. her own! Straighten up! Straighten up! All the way up! She's All climbing down up. the aisle! She's now at the back of the auditorium! Keep running. on! Keep on! She, yeah, she's done! She's done! Up the back Keep door! On. You stay where you are! Get out of my way! There's somebody about to die! Get out of my way! She went and down fast. the aisle and out the back door! She's coming in the other door! Get out of the way! Go on! She's healed. There, a paralyzed woman healed. Aisle, coming forward. A living testimony of the power of the works of the man. Keep she's on walking she's easily, walking now. easily she's now. As she's slowed to a walk, she walks easily. The congregation is on its feet. <laughs> praising. Join them now as they praise the magnificence of the living God whose power is now made manifest. Her heart's beating, she was there, she was there in the, she was there in the wheelchair. I mean, there in the bathroom, laying on the floor, dead, no heart, but she's beating now. Hey, God Almighty, two at the same time. See, some people know they're gone. I had to get that woman running past because there was a woman dead, dying in the on the bathroom. But the minute I got to her, the nurse said, there she is, back to life. Wonderful. Heart's all right. She'll be out in a minute. She's back there. That's why I said I got to get you healed. Oh, God. Keep on going, sister. There's the woman paralyzed. Keep on going. So glad. So glad. Something to shout about. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. She's hey, just passed here again. She was paralyzed and now she lives. Hang on. I believe she's on the fourth lap around the congregation now. She's running again. She 
is retesting the healing. God Almighty God. Esther Purifoy. Who's Esther Purifoy? You know someone, don't say any more than yes or no. You know someone, Paris? From Nigeria. Good enough. You're saying, she's saying yes. Just sit there and I get all the cloths I want to. I see a gold carpet. Something in your home, a gold carpet like. You've got to get this placed on you. Who is M, who is Rosa? M, Rosa, someone you know. See that that gets to her. This will prevent cancer. Sister, I don't like the vibrations of what you're under. Do you understand what I mean? Will you get out of there as soon as you can? Because along with Nigeria comes some witchcraft. Ira Nana. Yes. This will stop you. Thank you've God. Had this, you've had difficulty in your breast here. Yes. I'm stopping the cancer that's there now. Oh, thank and you, you get God. out from under that man. Thank God. Now. Thank God. It's done. Yes. In the balcony. It's done. Take this to your sister. It'll also save her life. Yes. Thank you. Thank God. Great God Almighty. <laughs> Great God Almighty. It's done, it's done, it's done. Someone Smith, Hester Smith on 49th. Hester Smith, who is Stanford's? Stanford, your daughter. I put some down some things privately. You've had trouble with your eye due to a circulatory problem, a stroke. Yes. Yes. We're going to take care of it now. You saw that woman walk out of that wheelchair, didn't you? Yes. We're going to come back into you. Now, I want to build your faith just a little bit. I don't know you. You've not told anyone any, here anything like all the rest of these. Is that correct? Right. You had two girls, do you? Right. Two boys. Right. One of your sons... Passed away. Wesley. Well, don't tell me. Killed in Korea. Right. I see your loved one, another loved one in a Mustang with off-white with red design on the side of the car. Right. A daughter. Right. This must be given to them. It'll save their life. Now, sister, you come right down to me just quickly, and we'll take care of all the effects of that stroke and the eye. The sight will be back to normal. Let's believe right now, right now. She's out of her seat now, coming down to the front where the pastor is waiting to receive her. now the pastor has ministered to her the healing has come she's dancing and he's dancing with her at the front of the congregation she's being led away by the nurse to the restroom area where so many have gone with their infirmities and come back without cancers being relieved of their cancers by this prophet of God. She's been operating, we've got a cancer to get out of her too. Stroke, cancer. Sure, see, she's not, no paralysis in her side now, was there? No. No, no. no. When she comes back, the cancer will be gone too. Hey, the cancer's been returned now. The woman who was blind in one eye, crippled and had a cancer, is now dancing on the stage with the pastor, relieved of her cancer, relieved of her crippling, and her sight restored. You know now, yeah. She is dancing Sing and together. praising, giving witness before this congregation of thousands. There's a sister that's healed of blindness, praising God. She's going up and down the aisles right now. Praise with her. 
Raising her hand here, praising. Rejoice when somebody's healed. Lest you have the same problem. Don't you know? Eh? All together now. Eh? Mary Bowen, Mary Bowen, 109th Street. Blindness affecting those eyes. Yes, 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 yes. Sister, to build faith a little bit, you have a son named James Chance? Yes, I do. It's going to save his life. You got a dog named Susan? Yes, I have. Touch the dog named Susan. Mm. You're the only one left in your family, huh? Yes, right. Eight of you, and now you're the only one left. That's right. Born and reared in Texas. Right. I want to protect you, too, till you can get in a better atmosphere. You got a dog named Pepper? Next door. Yeah, well, Lady. treat him nice, too, because mm -hmm. he's going to protect you, because yes, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a powerful spirit in Pepper. Thank you. He's going to chase some devil about three blocks. I say your eyes must see. Look at me. You looking at me? Yes, I am. Look at my fingers. Yes. You see them? Yes, I do. How many? Four. Four. That's right. God Almighty. God Almighty God. She's clear at the back of right the Right in the back of the building. Why don't you shout and praise God? A distance of at least 40 yards. As she counted accurately the number of fingers that he upheld. You better cry with her. She's back there crying, shouting, praising God. You better praise with her. Four fingers. Some of you couldn't see how many fingers. Hey, God. Hey, God. Her glasses off and four fingers. Hey, God. Oh, hey. I own a man. I own a man. Wave your hand if you know such a person. Hmm? Keep your hand up. Keep it right there. Place your hand on your chest now. One hand up. Avoid coffee of any kind. Avoid it any kind. Now, sister, you have six children. Right. You were born in Mansfield, Ohio. Yes, sir. All of your children live in Mansfield with one of your daughters. One of your children's gone. You don't know where one of them is. No, I don't. It's all right. Don't worry. It'll be taken care of. You'll have an understanding in just a little bit. Oh, thank you. You got an older daughter, Dorothy Taylor? Yes, I have. Terrible automobile accident. Right. Paralyzed from the neck down. Yes, sir. I stress unto you, keep my sayings, and she shall be normal. Oh, thank you. Stress and the trouble you've been having in your, your heart, the chest that's been bothering you. Yes. Even today, the pain. Now you lift your hand. You're not going to die here because God and not another is here. Hey! Oh. It's all right, right now. It's Praise right now. God. It's all right. Jim McIlvain or something of this sort? Did you have a sister that is a young man that died of diabetes? Hmm? Yes, yeah, sister. He's in the balcony and said this is so. April, April the 1st? Yes, I guess you're saying it? April the 1st. That is right. You've not told me. I don't know anything about your life. You've told no one else here. Is that correct? Correct. You lose a brother also by an accident? That's correct. It's been a bad year for you, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Killed April 27th. The car was burned up. That's right. And there was no clues. That's right. 
Someone's trying to do the same to you. You accept my teachings and you will be of long health. I don't always, very rarely do I ever say accept my teachings. You understand that? I do. But it's vital to you. Because he that keeps my sayings, Christ said, shall not die. Building our faith, building our faith. What you have done for me, Savior divine. Is Joseph another brother? Yes, he is. Got to have one for him, too. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a conspiracy. You've got to keep this on you and on him. You understand? I do. The prophet is giving What I've had a revelation prophet. of is someone burning up, burning a car with no clues. The car was burned up. Is that correct? That's correct. Hands clasped again. The many prophets are being sent with him for his loved ones and for himself. Your father's deceased. That's correct. Where's your brother? Where is my brother? Mm -hmm. He's at home today. Mm -hmm. He smoke a lot of cigarettes? Yes, he does. Terrible amount of, of cigarettes. I think I shall go further with the nurse. Because this is serious business. Clasp your hands. Have you got a dog in your home, a shepherd dog? That's correct. Does the dog keep looking out the window? Yes, he does. You, you know why I want you to be kind to little animals. They're far more loyal to you than people. You say that they don't have any souls, but I tell you another thing. I know better. Everything alive has spirit immortal. Everything will live on immortally. The best friends I've had in the healing work is some loyal animal that stands by, beside you. Spirit of Christ come forth in all of its fullness. The anointing which is Christ, that's all it means, the anointing come forth to bring protection and save this man's life also to stop the condition that's even now beginning in his kidneys some of it will take some effort on your part but if you do it you'll live a long life I guarantee you thank you Ruth Dean, someplace in Los Angeles you live. Who is Lawrence? This will save his life. He's been having trouble with his eyes. It's Los Angeles that's his trouble. If later we can help him. He's in the university now, is he? You're born, yes. You haven't told anyone here anything. No. I don't know you. Is that correct? As with all these cases. Correct. You're from Louisiana? Yes. Born in June? Yes. Sometimes in your mind, you know what people's ages are. Yes. <clears throat> First time I've seen a legit for a while. I want to get to know you. Yes. But you're humble about it. You don't call yourself a seer or a prophetess or anything like that. It just has to do with ages. Yes. You've got some difficulty in your back. Yes. Your side, up in your chest. Yes. We're going to heal you of heart disease. Going to yes. heal you of cancer. Go to the bathroom and the cancer will leave you and the pain will go from your body. God Almighty. God Almighty. My, is she rejoicing. She's come running now down the aisle with her arm upraised. Eager to get rid of that uh, cancer now as the nurse takes her to the restroom. That's all. The cancer. Here's the sister and here's the cancer. Thank you. The cancer has been welcome. removed. She said, thank you. You're most welcome. Nobody can take you when you're crippled up with arthritis. Cause you to walk. Nobody can take the cancer from you but God. Sadie Jacobs, 
Bless you, my dear. We'll just sit there for a minute till we get the work done. Just sit there till we build faith a little by little. <clears throat> Sadie Jacobs. Yes. Born yes. January 19. Right. Tyler, Texas. That's true. You have a hat. Hat. With nine rhinestones in two rows. Yes, maybe. In a pin on the hat. Uh huh. You also have a pin that you often wear around your neck with four rhinestones. That's true. You have a hat. Hat. With nine rhinestones in two rows. Yes, maybe. In a pin on the hat. Uh huh. You also have a pin that you often wear around your neck with four rhinestones. Six spokes on each side of the center part. You check them, you'll find it's true. Yes. Keep your hands and your hearts together now. You own some blue furry slippers. Yes. Those slippers have got to be touched with this cloth. They call you Mother Jacobs, eh? Right. From Texas, you came 1943. Uh-huh. Told no one here anything. Not told me anything, is that correct? Right. You've gone to the hospital, but you've called on the sick, haven't you? Yes. Yes. That's why you're getting helped. You're crippled up now, uh -huh. but you've helped others, so I'm going to help you. Please. I hear a name, Anna. Yes, Annie. I'll take care. That's your daughter, Rice. Rice, Annie Rice is my yes. daughter. Yes. Give some notes here that I've got to make. You heard about me from a friend. Right. In your living room in the corner, the picture of Jesus. Yes. Lighted. Yes. Behind it. Behind it. Now see, behind it. Who can see behind some? What do you say? It says, get right with God. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> On our table, next to a door, there's a folder. Looks like sheet music. Something that says, love is... I've got to do something about changing some conditions there. You have a bowl of plastic flowers. Yes. Orange, light green, and other colors. You had a boy and a girl? Yes. Your mother and father are dead. That's right. In your mind, you're saying, I'm one of God's prophets. <laughs> You consider yourself a missionary? Yes, I do mission work. Mm -hmm. Home mission work. I know, I know. Who is Ru Sister Ruth Morgan? Ruth Morgan? Yes. Oh, that's a missionary woman I used to work with. All right. I don't know why she is. Yeah, you've never said anything naturally about her. Mm -hmm. Thelma Belcher. I don't know. Oh, well, you don't know I do. Thelma Belcher. 232 East 83rd. Yes, I'm yeah, I know. So it's not mental telepathy. I knew I'd bring it back to your mind. Fanny Green, some city, 311 East 57th Street. I don't know Fanny Green. Yeah, you do. You can come to you. Really you didn't know Thelma Belcher, girl. We got to talking about it. I don't know. It's all right. I have the same problem every day. If there's so much you got to remember, you want to forget some things. <laughs> Sister Henrietta Fleming. Oh. Yes. yes, 1114 Defense. These are people you got to witness to about God being here in the hundredfold degree to get your healing full and complete like we wanted. You drink coffee and tea. Yes. Did you get some cod liver oil from somebody? Coffee? Cod liver oil. Uh, uh, uh. Has anybody given you any oil? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Yes, oh. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Hands clasped. Well, I've got to get rid of some of this stuff because they'll have you down on your back till you can't get up. Hands clasped. You've had some Dr. Chick Chester? That's my doctor. Yes. <laughs> Such pain you have to take three times a day. Pills for this crippling arthritis you have. Indison, 25. Now our hands are clasped. We believe. Do we believe in here? Yeah. Yeah. Edda Mae Robinson. Who is that? I don't know. I 
can't think at this time. Well, I'll figure it out and tell you. <laughs> Knickerbocker Hotel. You ever had any connection with that? I, I used to work there. Mm -hmm. 1714 Ivor, I V A R. Ivor. Uh... Mm -hmm. That's just what I said, honey. I don't know these places. Well, I got a whole number of impressions that I don't think I need to prove anymore to you at this stage. Now, sister, will you arise, begin to arise now from your seat? Begin to arise from your seat. Begin to arise. She has come up out of her seat now and is standing. She is standing and the pastor has come down from the stage is coming up to meet her, and she down to meet him. Some sister over there trying to do work on me. He's working with her up and down, her arms up and down. She's running, and he's running with her. The pastor is running with her as they both now go up the aisle toward the back of the congregation. They stop now to do some some deep bends, hands above their head, down to their toes, back up and back down as she exercises those muscles and limbs, but you're so stiff, it's she all gone couldn't now. move. The pain's all gone, she said. Get, the, get her to get all these instructions. Sure, glory to God, she says. You got reason to glory God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.